The Formula One Series telecast proudly sponsored by Valvoline Motor Oil, AutoPro, the parts professionals, and Grant's Finest Scotch Whiskey. Share the secret. Hello, welcome, nice to have your company wherever you're watching us right around Australia. Well, we've got a triple header on tonight. The Formula One's followed by the Argentine 250cc Grand Prix, then the 500s, then the Super Tourers. Four and a half hours of uh, real good motor racing coming your way here on Nine Sports. And congratulations to the network for uh, taking the entire package there tonight live. And of course, it's uh, comatose time for most people in Sydney tonight. It's been the Rugby League Grand Final on a big day. And uh, Canterbury, congratulations. Fantastic game against the uh, favourites, Manly and the Bulldogs. They flogged the Eagles. And how lucky were they weather-wise? It's absolutely pouring right now, so they, they, they missed that well, didn't they? Absolutely bucketing down in Sydney. It has been since around about 6 o'clock after they got the league over and done with. And all two uh, uh, congratulations to the Novocastrians, too, in Newcastle and the uh, Hunter Valley. They'd be absolutely over the moon. The reserve grade final won by the Knights. Their local team, the first time ever Newcastle have won a major football trophy. Terrific. All righty, so football out of the way. We're back to motor racing. A real big night ahead of us. Now, Formula One, there's been uh, a lot of rumours about musical chairs. You had your ear to the phone. Yeah, well, there's a, there's a bit going on. Uh, a pretty reliable source has seen uh, Johnny Herbert down at Ferrari, and he looks like he could be a real good contender to back up uh, Schumacher there. Uh, they're talking to Coulthard. Larini's still in with a slight chance, but they the, the betting is that... Uh, that Herbert is in with a real good chance because he's been spending a bit of time down there. Ligier, apparently, from what I can gather, has been sold. An Indian businessman's bought that, and th that'll be announced about mid-November. Tom Wilkinshaw's getting out of it. And uh, they're going to have a new sponsor, and I think it'll be Gulwaz. I find that extraordinary that they would be going to a, a cigarette sponsorship, coming out of a cigarette sponsorship, when the, when the pressure of the mm -hmm. world is to try and rid sport of a cigarette sponsorship. Well, yeah, we rid, rid, rid the world of sponsorship, period, I think. But, uh, you know, I mean, it's, uh, it seems to work everywhere else in the world, and I think they probably think it's good value, and um, that's the route they've decided to go, from what I can gather. OK, when you think about uh, the Ferrari situation, Schumacher having worked so, so closely with Herbert, that probably would make some sense. Yes, well, I think they, they get on reasonably well, and uh, Johnny Herbert now has had two Grand Prix one, wins under his belt. He, he desperately wants to keep in a competitive car, and uh, as we'll see by tonight, he's qualified quite well for tonight's race. So uh, I think he'd be an excellent choice to go there, quite frankly. All right, well, tonight, of course, it's the Portuguese. Now, the championship wide open, really, because Damon Hill, I mean, can still do this. We'll check the grid for in a moment. But it's uh, very quickly, it's been a, a pretty sort of uh, hectic week for you since the announcement mm -hmm. that we made uh, at last uh, Grand Prix that you, you're going out on your own to form a new Group, group A team. And boy, oh boy, mate, you've made some headlines around the place. Well, we've been fairly busy. We've got a big job in front of us. People don't realise that. I don't think it's about 700 hours to build a, a Group A Falcon. We've got to build two of them, and we've got to have it ready for testing, uh, you know, sort of at the end of December. So uh, we've got a lot of work in front of us, but it'll be a great challenge. And I think the people around me, the, the Stone Brothers in particular, um, will do the job. We'll do it well. And every, uh, every touring car fan in Australia wishes you well. I know that. All right, let's have a look at the grid as I line up for this. The Portuguese Formula One. Grand Prix. Well, there you are, David Coulthard on pole, second time in a row from his teammate Damon Hill, Schumacher third, Gerhard Berger fourth, Ferrari, Hans Harold Frentzen, a great effort from him to put the Sauber up in fifth spot, from Johnny Herbert in sixth and the other Benetton. John Alacy, seventh place in the Ferrari, Baricello, Brundle in the Ligier, Eddie Irvine, Panis and Blundell, who's actually got a very bad back. He hurt his back this morning in the warm-up, so we're hoping that that won't affect him in the race. Hacken in the McLaren, well down in 13th, but there's a story behind that. Bouillon, 14th, Salo, 15th, Kateyama, 16th, Lamy, 17th, Badua in 18th. 
Inui, Pappas, Montemini, Dinez, Marino and Delatraz in 24th. So there you go, the Drivers' Championship, Schumacher is still not that far in front, he, he can't relax, he's, uh, he's only 15 points or so in front of David Hill, Johnny Herbert third, Lacey fourth, Coulthard fifth, and Gerhard Berger in sixth. So that's how uh, they go to line up. Now you, you, you might get confused when you see Gerhard Berger driving this time round. He's already changed the colours of his helmet to uh, the colours of Benetton. He's got the United colours of Benetton because uh, with the Formula One drivers, 